away for nine. For reports of gang activity at the apartments, uh, possible violent threats. 10 for 201. Dispatch received a call of a disturbance involving two parties in different vehicles at one of our local apartment complexes that we have a lot of problems at. We'll just circle this apartment complex. A lot of times they'll, they'll turn in here and uh, black out on me. References to early conduct. Uh, it finds uh, that patient Carol Mellon was found on North 21st and North 25th in my location. So, see anybody fighting? They were earlier. They're running around in a white uh, Jeep looking thing. You need to call us when he comes back. Oh, oh. Xterra? Yeah, that's it. You need to call us back if he comes back. I'm not a problem. Call us, OK. Cool. okay. Thank you. Cool. Both parties left the area in different vehicles. A white Xterra and a green SUV, possibly an expedition with uh, rims. Yeah, it's going to be them. Nine States, I'm going to be out with a white Xterra. Stops made here at, I believe, 31st and Grand. I'm seeing 31st and Grand. Station vehicles pulling over here at the food mart, 33rd and Grand. Shut the door. Shut the door. We see hands, guys. We see hands. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Step out here. With your left hand, turn the car off. Turn it off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Put your hands up on there. Put your hands up on there. Put your hands up on there. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. Hands up, hands up. Right there. You got a gun in there? Don't sit. Don't, don't you move your hand. Okay, I'm keeping my hands up, man. No, here come, here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I'll drop my phone. Okay. All right. They were involved in a large disturbance with weapons. Uh, we're going to figure out who they are and what they're up to. You got a suspended license? Yeah. I yeah. got that. I ain't going to lie to you. Sam. What am I getting handcuffs for? Because you're going to jail for suspended license. Yeah, sit down. What? Sit down, sit down. Get my phone. Sit down, sit down. Get over there. See, there is a bullet. It's on the ground out yeah. there. We discovered that the driver threw some marijuana out prior to the stop, and he's going to jail. She's drunk. She's been drinking. No, I'm not. You're not. P.I. The female's intoxicated, so I'm going to take her to jail for public intox. You on parole, Brandon? Yes, sir. Two of the male passengers are on parole, so I'm going to call their parole officers. Hey, we stopped Floyd Hardy Jr. They're rolling around. They got metal pipes in the, in the car. We just got a call about them being involved in a disturbance. What do you think? OK, thanks, brother. 15, both of them. Parole violation. Yeah, you go to jail. Frank wants you in jail. Parole violation. The two parolees are going to go to jail because they're not allowed to associate while on parole. I just pulled five people out of this vehicle, and there's just something wrong about these guys. Nine station. Can you run that tag on this Xterra? Tell me who it checks to. Yeah. Oh, just run the tag at nine. Call down. Ten four nine is coming back and stolen. <laughs> Tim, we're going to confirm that. Son of a dude, I'm going to be doing some paperwork. Yeah. That's right there. All of them go to jail. From my point of view, this is a great stop because everybody in it has done something illegal in one way or another. Parolees hanging out together, which is a violation. We've got a driver of the vehicle suspended. He drops marijuana when he gets out of the vehicle. The female in the back is intoxicated. No, I'm not. And then on top of that, the tags are stolen. We get these guys off the street, and uh, the officers can rest assured that they won't get any more calls about this vehicle. like we got a disturbance at Bradley Drive. Sounds like a domestic disturbance and a break-in all in one. We need to get on scene, try to figure out what's going on. This should be interesting.
What's going on tonight? She come back and she broke through that window right there. Who broke through the window? A diesel. And why would she do that? I, have, I don't have the slightest idea, man. How do you know Deidre? Oh, she's my ex wife. She's your ex wife? Yes, yeah, sir. Look what she did. Well, there may be some evidence inside that room of what she used to break out the window. It's okay with you if I search that. Sir, tell you nothing about that, man. Go ahead. We didn't get permission to search the house. Listen to this officer real quick. Listen to me right here, okay? Yes, this sir. is just the permission to search, okay? You're voluntarily authorizing us to be able to search this residence and that you can stop the search at any time, okay? All right. And we informed you of the right to refuse the search okay. as well, okay. right? Okay. Y'all remember that, right? Yeah. Okay, come back here with me. The guy shows us where his ex-wife breaks in. Oh. On the bed, we find a bag of crack rocks. I'm thinking the guy is either extremely intoxicated or just not very bright, because when I walk in, the drugs are laying right there on the bed. Hey, come back here with me. Well, that ain't right, man. Well, I call with y'all. You hear me? I hear you. That doesn't change the fact that you're under arrest for possession of cocaine with intent to distribute. It do, man. No, it doesn't. Put your hands on top of your head. Turn around, face the wall. Hey, hey. Get on your stomach, I'll tell you one more time. Hey, come on, Frank. Roll over and put your hands behind you, on your stomach. Give him your other hand or I'm going to tase you. Get up on your knees. I've been doing this for a few years, and people still surprise me every day. Officer Melson's talking with the subject. I'm sitting back, trying to keep an eye on them, when all of a sudden, the guy lunges towards the drugs. No, hey, hey, hey! In the blink of an eye, Officer Melson grabs the guy and slings him to the ground. was originally called out for the ex-wife causing problems, but in the end, the subject calling ends up going to jail for possession with intent to deliver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight of them. I don't know why you'd call police when you got drugs laying around your house, but he may be sitting in a jail cell for a long time now. 